not all Doc Martens are the same. So today I'm going to be ranking each and every one of my pair of Doc Martens that I own. So I'm going to be ranking them from God mode all the way to like F tier. Like, why did I buy these and can I get a refund? These are the categories to my tier list. The S tier, which is the highest tier, is the God tier, like the God mode, the must have. Beneath that, you have the A tier, which is very good. It's very high. After that, we have the B tier, which it's good, but it's not the best. It's okay, just above okay. Then we have the C tier, which is okay. It's average. It's something that I might want, but necessarily don't need. D is the bad tier, which is just not necessary, maybe just for fun. And then F tier is basically, why did I buy this? This is just a joke. Like, I don't need it. In no particular order, I'm going to start with the 1461s. The 1461s were actually the first low cut Doc Martens that I did get. And I like them so much. I feel like if you're going to get a low cut Doc Martens, they're like the 1460s. They're the go to. So with those, I would say that they are is between A tier and B tier. But since I've already said it's like the 1460s of like the low cut Doc Martens, I'm definitely going to put it in that A tier. Chelsea boots. My Chelsea boots are the crazy horse leather. I got these and they totally blew me out the water as in like a good thing. They surprised me. Literally when I got these, I liked them so much simply because number one, it was the crazy horse leather. I like the crazy horse leather, the character that it gives. It's just nice to me. And then also, I like that it did not have the traditional Doc Martin stitching. Like, you have to know, like, these are Doc Martens from afar. Because a lot of people are used to that yellow stitching or the Doc Martin stitching around the boots. But these are just different. I feel like without the stitching, it kind of enhanced it just a little bit because it's something that I'm not used to. All of my other Doc Martens all have the stitching and everything. It looks kind of generic, but these ones, they just look different. I really like it. The only thing that I'll have to say with these is that Chelsea boots, they don't go with every outfit, you know? So I'll just have to deduct just a little bit. I wanted to put it in the A tier. Chelsea boots, they do have a style. And with that style, I say it's B. It's above average, but it's not all the way up there. Hmm. Am I ever going to put anything in that God tier, the S tier? I don't know. My Jaden boots. Actually, I think about a couple years ago when I did a tier list about Doc Martens, I did say that I would not get a pair of Jadens. These are platform boots, like literally not my style. I've never rocked it. I mean, I'm not the tallest guy, but it would help to rock some platform boots. But I don't know. It's just not my style. I just don't rock platform boots i rather have like the normal ones it just feels weird to have like a big chunk of like <laughs> maybe i'll be six foot if i put them on but another story for another day but they're cool it's just not my style i don't know they just didn't fit my style but i actually got a pair which was weird and once i actually tried a pair it changed my mindset on Jaden's a lot the thing that I did with my Jadens, I got the vegan leather simply because I thought that um, getting the vegan, I kind of copped out on it because I knew like smooth leather, it was going to take forever for me to break into them. And I don't want to be crying while breaking into my Doc Martens. So I wanted some soft leather or not even leather at all. I wanted to try the vegans just to see how durable, or how good they are. And honestly, I'm actually happy that I got the vegan ones. And I didn't have to struggle. I like the monochrome look. It's nice. I do like my Jadens. I just wish I wore them more. Like, I'm trying to figure out still to this day, how can I incorporate it to my style? What can I do to make it better, you know? Because I feel like the Jadens are a little bit out there. But now that I'm wearing it more and more, I do want to wear it more. So where would I rank them? I would say they're like the... Um, B tier, simply because A tier, I don't know, I just think they're not all the way up there, but B tier, definitely right below it, and they do have like a certain look or certain style that, I don't know, I just feel like they're a little bit different, so I'll just put it in that B tier. 
my Adrians, the Tassel loafers, like literally, I like the Adrians, but one thing that kind of tricked me about the Adrians was I thought that the Adrians, like, it looks like, what is it, the burgundy or red, like, rub off. I actually didn't know that it had so much, um, I don't know what it's called. Like, they shined it a lot. I thought that the more I would wear these um, boots or shoes, that the color was going to change. But it didn't. I mean, eventually I broke into them. They're good. I like wearing them. It's just, I don't know. When it comes in the tier list, definitely going to give this a B. Or is it? No. The reason why I'm going to give it a B, simply because, like, the color scheme, like, the edges are, like, rub off. Like, it changes a little bit. Definitely love that. And tassel loafers definitely fit into the... Chelsea boot kind of their purpose is like one thing so you can't really put it up as a A tier or even a S tier so definitely gonna give my tassel loafers Adrian's a B my winter grip Doc Martens these are probably one of the least pair of Doc Martens that I do put on my feet simply because the weather conditions that I am at now it's pretty warm even during the winter time like right now Probably the coldest that it's been is like 30s. So I necessarily don't have a need for it. But when I did, it was useful. And I like a lot of things about it. It's just that currently I don't have a need for it. One thing that I do like about them, they're insulated. Yes, that was good. And then also the sleep slip resistant was good too. Like I never kind of slip with them. My only thing is I really don't have a purpose for them right now. So... I don't know. I'm thinking about selling it or I don't know what to do with it. So um, I would say C tier. I don't want to say D because they are useful. It's just me currently. I don't need it right now. There's no use for it. I wish I did use it more and more, but currently no. The 1460s, the most popular Doc Martens out there. These are what 90, maybe even more of Doc Martin sales are. And I'll have to say these are very versatile. I like just from day one, I knew what I was getting and everything else. My biggest problem with my 1460s was that recently I had a little malfunction that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Apart from that, I would say the 1460s, those got tier, everything is good. And you can wear them year round, winter, summer, all of that. So definitely something that you need if you like Doc Martens, maybe multiple, but I'll have to say I'm not a big fan of the Made in England anymore. I mean, I don't know. I feel like personally I didn't get my money's worth, so um, I do think like the other leather is pretty similar. I do want to try like the greasy leather, especially for people that do want something durable, work, and they can go through a lot of things. I just feel like the Made in England is nice, and I'm still upset that my Doc Martens ripped, So, and I paid a lot of money for it. So um, I was expecting more. But it is God tier. There's a lot of different options that you can choose from. And, um, yeah, I like my 1460s. My 3989, these are officially my least worn Doc Martens. Literally, I've had these for years, and... I've probably only put them on like less than 10 times. Literally, I don't know if it's the color. I don't know what it is, but I just have a hard time putting these on. Like they're made in England. I really like them. And um, for some reason, I have to figure out how to put these on. Like they're nice. They're cool. They look good from a mile away. It's just, I just don't put them on. I mean, I think with like the wingtip and everything, it's between a B or C, but Honestly, for me, since I don't put it on that often, I think they're just average. Like, my actions speak louder than my words, but the way that I'm portraying it, definitely I'll give it a B, but my actions is a C. The next couple are like non-traditional Doc Martens, and the first one are my Tarek Lowe's. These ones, I actually got them on sale for under $100, and they blew me out the water. Like, literally, I was surprised how well, I liked them. I thought I was not going to like them. I thought of all these different things, but 
the Terry Glows or Doc Martens like this, like the non-leather Doc Martens, oh my gosh, they're very comfortable. Like I enjoy them even to this day. I mean, even the Terry Glow, I like the colorway, the like, what is it? Dark green. It just looks nice on the feet. And I love rocking it with some khakis or anything dark. Yes, I really like them. I like the comfort of them right out the box. I feel like more people should talk about these. If you want like the Doc Martin comfort without the Doc Martin hurt, definitely get like the Terry Glows or like non-leather Doc Martens. You will love it. This is going to be very controversial. A tier. I love them. Like literally, I'm thinking about getting the... What's the other one called? Is it the Riders or the Runners? The, I don't know. They're very comfortable too, but I want to see if I can do anything with those. Like literally go for a run, come back, like go to work. Like I feel like those will be definitely all around Doc Martens. Like literally I can probably go to the gym with them, come back home. I probably won't go partying with it, but I can do a lot of different things with it. My meal, what is it, the Clarkson meal that I got? And I just have to say I was very disappointed by this. It was a untimely purchase because originally it was for my dad, but then they were a little bit tight, so it fit me. And then it was just weird, like the leather is very thin, and I didn't like it. I wish I would have bought like the, um, not the leather one, but the, the suede ones look a little bit better. But the ones that I got, Honestly, they're not my favorite type of sandals, and um, I don't know. They just don't give me that oomph, you know? I thought, like, just from seeing the hype of it, I thought, man, these are going to be the best. But unfortunately for me, I think they're probably like a D for me or a C. Like, maybe if I get, like, a different one that I actually like and tried in stores and things like that, but... I'm not feeling the whole construction of it. Like, it was thin. I mean, the soles were good, but, like, the upper was just, no. Maybe, I'll say a C. I feel like the ones that I have, they're very hype. Like, the leather ones, maybe the suede ones, probably a B. But the ones I have, and my experience, sizing is all weird. So, definitely a C. And the last pair of Doc Martens that I own are the sandals. What is it? The Parison webbing sandals or yes, those I have the iced one and yeah, unfortunately they stopped selling them, but I surprisingly like those ones too. Simply I got them when they're on sale. Like the Doc Martens that I got on sale can compete with the Doc Martens that I've bought that were probably the most expensive ones. Like these ones I enjoy rocking them. Like I put them with socks sometimes, and then sometimes, you know, I, I let the toes out. But, you know, scary times now. I don't want nobody to ask me if I have OnlyFans. Like, mm, mm I don't, and I will not make one. But I really like them. They're very comfortable. They fit nicely, and, um, yeah, I feel like they're probably my best sandals that I do have. Like, before having them, I probably did not wear sandals. Like, sandals were cool to talk about, but for me to actually put them on, that's a no-no. But now I feel cool putting them on. Like I put them on and sometimes I get compliments like, oh, what sandals are those? Like, oh, wow, they look unique. They're nice. What are these? Like I enjoy wearing them. I usually wear them a couple times during the summertime. So yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely give these a B, a very strong B. I can't say an A, but a B is very strong. Like literally, I think these were just golden. For the price under $100, I enjoy wearing them. They're very comfortable. They're nice. They're fit. The only thing was I bought it in stores and I had to put a size down, which thankfully I did that because if I would have went, bought it online, man, I would have been upset. Felt like I would have wasted my money. But yeah. So what do you guys think? Were my ratings too harsh, too nice? What are your experiences with your docs? How would you rate yours? And um, probably my next venture, like, I do want to get, like, some custom docs or, like, some collab docs or, like, I don't know. I've been trying to reach out to Doc Martens and um, no response so far. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.